All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Jean. And so we have her normal attack, which does strikes and plunge damage. We get that. Gale Blade is dope. So Gale Blade, you can do an initial knockback. You hit it one time, you hit the E one time, it'll knock them back. If you hold it, it'll gather them together. It's like a pointed tornado. Like it's actually ridiculous, right? Then we have Dandelion Breeze. Call upon the wind's protection, whirling slant around you, an animal damage. Pretty much what I'm saying is, without all the weird words, is that if you're in this field, you will be healed. It scales based on Gene's attack. So not only you have to build Gene for attack, but she's a healer that is DPS. Wrap your head around that, gather it, come back to me. Wild Companion, on hit, Gene's normal attacks have a 50% chance to regenerate HP equal to 15% of Gene's attack for all party members. So you have to build her for attack, okay? This is where I'm at so far. So we have our elite, and so pretty much with this, this is just exile flowers so that I can get some HP on her. Um, that's what I was struggling with a bit. I'm so what we're doing right here, so building her again for this attack. So this one does have this Berserker Rose. It does have HP, but it does also has attack for 3.7 and it also has the crit rate because the two piece Berserker set. Now we get into our attack here for a uh, Scholar's Quill Pin, attack 149. Then she also has the attack of 4.2% on there. Now we start getting a little beefy here, right? Berserker time piece, again, that two piece that I was talking about earlier. 17% attack, but we also have the uh, the bonuses here, including the plus 14 on elemental mastery, which is important. And then we have HP 20, I'm um, sorry, 18%, but then we have another bonus of attack at 4.7%. So I am rocking a two piece gladiator set for her because that'll also give me another 18% attack. And this is the last piece you have here. Again, this is only level two. So I still have, you know, I'm a little broke. You know, so once I get it together, I should be able to level her up. Um, and so this is where we're at so far with her artifacts. As far as the weapons, um, what made the most sense to me was to get rid of Filet Blade. And you're like, but Larry, she is you know, probably your best character. And I'm like, okay, I get it. But at the same time, this three-star sword, the Filet, we're talking about the base damage of 216. We're also talking about a bonus attack of 22.8 percent and it's only at level 50 and not to mention you know our what what is our bonus on this so on hit has a 50 has a 50 percent chance to deal 320 percent attack damage to a single enemy it can occur once every 13 seconds so not even thinking about how much damage we have here right because this is probably somewhere around 260 damage right or attack this is what we're looking at, a 50% chance to deal 320% attack damage. And so, you know, that's where we're at with her. Um, I was looking at some of the other ones. She doesn't have any issues with energy recharge, and I'll show you in a second. But, um, so I'm looking at my other blades, what I could possibly give her, and nothing really grabs my attention, right? Maybe this one, but this sword I don't take off of Kaya. Um, that's just his sword. He's my first icy boy. I gave him the sword that's his forever. Um, he doesn't like to share. Um, so going through the rest of these swords, I'm just like, ah, they're okay, they're okay. But when I got down to the fillet, it just made the most sense out of all of the swords that I have. Um, so that's what I'm kind of working on now then. So originally this was Bennett's sword because I was using Bennett a lot. Um, switching Bennett to a support character where I'm just using his ignite or his uh, fire abilities it's easier for me to just worry about making Jean the absolute monster that she is. And so that's how she's currently built with the fillet blade. If y'all have any ideas on what I should do, definitely let me know because I'm definitely open for ideas. Um, and the other part about this, uh, this team that I built, what my team normally looks like, it usually looks like this, right? It's usually sucrose here, beta out here, Jean here, and then another healer or whatever the case for the fourth slot. And so with these two together, um, decreased stamina consumption by 15%, increases movement speed by 10%, shortened skills cooldown by 5%. Also, they have a lot of um, orbs that come off of each other on the kills and using the elemental abilities. And so I just like to use them together. Um, 
having two animo does have a lot of benefits and i actually do a lot of uh a lot of my q abilities just based off of that alone so just something to consider um when you're looking at getting into a fight um wanted to thank y'all for that and appreciate y'all watching the video so i'm just gonna go ahead and, and do a fight real quick just gonna attack some enemies just so y'all can kind of see what we're looking at as far as the damage I'm gonna go up here and fight these wizards. Hopefully the fire trees don't come attack me. And that's her E ability, and you see how quickly it comes back. Just like that, they're out of it. They're out of here. And so, the idea with this team is that Gene and Beidou are going to be my two heavy hitters for damage. And anybody else is just going to depend on who I'm fighting, but they will be support. You see, just like that, my ult is back up. We're talking about three or four enemies that I killed. And you see how all of my characters are full health. And that's something that I have gotten accustomed to. So it's hard to, for me to take any, any genes off of my team just because of that alone. I want to thank you all for watching the video today. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what you think. What weapon should I try out? What should I be shooting for? Um, this is my ideal build that I'm looking at right now. Sucrose 1, Beta 2, Gene 3. And then the fourth is a healer, depending on who I'm fighting. I can go with Barbara. I can go with Deanna. I can go with Bennett. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all want me to test something out, let me know, and I will definitely try it. Thank you all for watching.